Welcome to part 12 of the live Steam Charles Loco build, and welcome to Dave's workshop on Garden Railway. All the fasteners for the cylinders have been received and fitted. Here's a cylinder operating under my own air pressure. No noisy air compressor required. I had some offcuts of aluminium alloy bar left over from the quarry hunslet piston material. So I use these for Charles. They were short stubs, so needed turning on the piston rods. The rods are 532nd inch 304 grade stainless and threaded 532nds by 40 TPI ME for about an eighth of an inch. The piston blank was first set up in the three jaw chuck, faced off, drilled 3.2 mil for tapping and then counterboard with a 532nd slot drill for a quarter of an inch. To help with concentricity, I wanted the rod diameter to provide most support for the piston and not the thread. The piston and rod were turned in the collet chuck. It's got a much better grip than the three jaw, essential for threading with the button die. The piston was loctited to the rod for turning. The piston is grooved for the 13 16th silicone o-ring. I ended up turning the piston's two thou undersize to allow for the thermal expansion of the aluminium. I tested a cylinder and piston in the kitchen in the saucepan of boiling water. I did this with a quarry hunslet too. I'm checking that the pistons don't expand too much and seize up in the bore when they are hot because the aluminium expands greater than the brass does. Running the piston up and down the bore, feeling the water pumping through the lower steam passages. The second piston, ready for sawing off. I rough turned it in the three jaw, as I had a little more to grip on with this piece of bar. Here's a close-up of the piston rod threaded for the piston. It felt like it was cutting nicely with the button die and some cutting oil. However, the crest is torn. The second piston fitted to the piston rod, ready for facing off to length and finish turning. The valve rods have been made from 1 8th diameter stainless, as have the rectangular brass nuts that drive the slide valve. There's enough vertical clearance to allow the valve to lift off the port face if need be. Here I am blowing into the cylinder again. The O-rings aren't fitted to the pistons yet. Everything is free moving. I am ordering material for the coupling and connecting rods and crossheads. I want to do the crossheads next. Thanks for watching.